Tupac screaming, bare feet hit the floor Yeah, it's off to the races, everybody out the door I'm feeling like I'm falling behind, it's a crazy life 90 miles an hour, going fast as I can Trying to push a little harder, trying to get the upper hand So much to do in so little time, it's a crazy life It's ready, set, go, it's another one And we're back. This is Coach Bigler again with Mustang Basketball. And we are on another reading adventure. The Ladybug, Girl, and the Bug Squad. I can't wait for everyone to get here, yells Lulu. It is the first official Bug Squad play date. And Ladybug Girl knows it's going to be perfect. I know exactly the way I want everything to be, Lulu tells her mama. Well, her mama says, I hope it works out the way you want it to, bugaboo. Just then, Sam comes bounding through the door. Bumblebee boy is here, he shouts. Next, Marley, dressed up as Dragonfly Girl, skips in with Kiki in her Butterfly Girl costume. Everyone twirls around and shows off their wings and capes. The bug squad is a team again, Lulu says. What should we play, asks Sam. The Bug Squad, of course, says Lulu. Let's go to the Bug Squad base. They pass Lulu's brother on their way out. He doesn't like bugs, Lulu says. Lulu leads a group to a circle of tall pine trees in her yard. This is it, says Lulu, a low hanging branches and the soft carpet of pine needles make the perfect hideout. I like it, says Sam. It smells good, says Marley. They set up their base. Bumblebee Boy and Dragonfly Girl zoom off to collect sticks to defend the bug squad from the bad guys. Let's go pick flowers to make it pretty, says Butterfly Girl. Ladybug Girl says, Bingo, stay here and guard the fort. When the base is ready, it looked even better than Lulu hoped. Now we need a password to get in our secret hideout. She tells the bug squad, and I know just what it should be. Ladybug Rainbow Unicorn. Sam wrinkles his nose. What about bingo for a password, suggests Marley. Yeah, bingo, everyone yells. Lulu agrees that that is a good password. Now what should we do, says Kiki. It's time to show off our powers, decides Lulu. I'll go first, says Marley. Dragonfly girl breathes fire so I can protect us. Swirling her flame around, Marley adds, and I can toast marshmallows. Sam steps forward. Bumblebee boy is as fast as lightning and will sting anyone who tries to get us. Did you know that butterfly girl has smart powers, quizzes Kiki. Butterfly Girl knows that the sun is really a star, and I can spell elephant. E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. Elephant. My turn, says Lulu. Ladybug Girl has lots of powers. I can fly. I'm super strong. I can save ants, and I can even do a cartwheel. Her try was a little bit wobbly. Lulu leaps to her feet and says, follow me. Let's play. We can't touch the ground because it's hot lava. <sighs> then safely across over the lava, but now an army of giant bars their way. Luckily, they're asleep and the bug squad carefully tiptoes past them. We made it, says Lulu. This is the best play date ever. She thinks as she runs and jumps with Bingo and her friends, everything is going to be just how she wanted it to. They are flying and laughing when Lulu Mama calls. It's painting time! At the picnic table, they find a pile of smooth rocks. 
a stack of paper and a jar filled with bright paint. Now it's time to make Bug Squad pictures, Lula announced. Lula, of course, painted her rock red with black polka dots. She was very pleased with how it turned out. Maybe it should even be in a museum. Kiki painted her rock purple. This is Pluto. Marley is painting a pretty dragon playing soccer. Sam is painting a picture of a robot fighting a giant squad, squid. No one paints bug squad pictures except for Lulu. Hey, you guys were supposed to. Lulu starts, but then Mama comes over with a platter. It is filled with beautiful chocolate cupcakes. Mama sets the cupcakes on the table and lights the candles. Now, said Lula, when I count to three, we all have to blow out our candles at the very same time. Lula counts one, two, three, and blows out her candle. Then she sees Kiki's candle still flickering. Lula leans over and blows out Kiki's candle too. Lula takes a big bite of her cupcake and notices that Kiki hasn't even picked hers up. What's wrong, Kiki? Lula asks. You blew out my candle, Kiki shouts. But I was just trying to help you, explains Lulu. You didn't blow out your candle at the right time. I didn't have to do it your way. I was making a wish and you ruined everything, yells Kiki. Lulu's stomach feels funny. I didn't mean to hurt Kiki's feelings. She's never wanted to do it that in a million years. It's just that I... She was just having so much fun that she didn't think twice when she blew out Kiki's candle. Lulu just wanted things to be the way that she had imagined them. Now that she sees Kiki is upset, Lulu wants her friend to know how sorry she feels. But what if Kiki doesn't understand? Then Lulu remembers that Ladybug Girl never runs away from things when they get hard. Ladybug Girl knows that when she, what she must do. Ladybug Girl takes a deep breath and says, Kiki, I'm sorry I blew out your candle. Ladybug Girl adds, how about if we ask Mama to light yours again? Well, okay, says Kiki. When the candle is lit, Ladybug Girl says, you can blow out the candle now, Kiki, and make a wish. I mean, if you want to. I do, says Butterfly Girl. Let's blow out the candle together. When they finish their cupcakes, they decide it's time for a very important secret bug mission. There's a mean alien in the house, says Ladybug Girl, and we have to find out what it's up to. Thanks again for being great listeners. Next week, I will spice it up and have some Mustang basketball players read a few books for you. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Breathe,